Today we're going to look at Adobe Premiere Pro and just look at starting a new project, importing some footage, and creating a transition. Click on New Project to begin a new project and name it and put it in a folder where you can say organized with your project documents. So I'm just creating a new folder so that way I can keep all of my project files in there. And then when I'm done with that, I will click OK and it will begin a new Premiere Pro project. So there's a hundred ways to do everything, but for me, I double click on that project window to import files. Just finding some footage that I would want to use. We have some nice Stony Brook footage of wildlife, so that's fun to work with. Then I click import once I've selected all the files I want, and that will drop it right into that project panel there. When I'm in there, I'll usually create a bin by hitting Command B. A bin is basically a folder which is used for grouping items in Premiere. Next, I will highlight any clips I want to use and drag them down to a new sequence, which will automatically match the settings of the clips I'm dropping in there. So I just start playing the footage and deciding what I want to use. I'm trying to avoid anything too shaky, so I'm scrubbing through the footage and looking for some good clips in here. So I'm just gonna do a couple clips and then export it so you can see what that's like. I'm just using the blade tool to make a cut and then deleting the footage that I don't want. I'm going to do that until I have a couple clips that I like together. So I just scrub and then make cuts. I used Command K there, that's why you didn't see the blade tool. It's just a shortcut to make a cut in a video. And then here I'm going to do something called a ripple delete. So this whole chunk I don't want. I um, just do a ripple delete and that stops any gaps from appearing in the uh, timeline there. So what I'm going to do is just, like I said, cut up a couple clips and then to create a transition, you're going to find a meeting place or the beginning or end of a clip. You click on that, that red line will come up. There's a couple ways to add um, a transition. I dragged and dropped a cross dissolve there so you can see it kind of fades one clip into another. You can do whatever transition you like though. An alternative way is you can hit Command D on when you have that red mark there and it will allow you to apply your default transition, which for me is a cross dissolve and that is the default default unless you change it. Just marking in and out points by hitting I and O so that way when I go to export, it will only export the in to out point. You can change that, of course, but right now I just wanted to export those two clips to show you. So I'm just changing the settings. We usually do um, an, an MP4 that ends up looking good for YouTube. There are many different presets and you just have to find the one that's right for you and what you're using your video for. I just name my file and then I hit export. You could also hit Q and it would go to Adobe Media Encoder wasn't necessary for this one. And here is the finished product. So I'm going to try and do more tutorials like this where I show you my screen and we look at how to do some simple tasks and then eventually maybe look at some more advanced things. If you want to learn anything specific, feel free to email me or contact me through our website. I will put all of the information in the credits. Thank you.